Hey guys, this is Richard from Welsh Tech. Right, this is my review of the TRTA 140EX White from Thermalright. This is a 20th anniversary product. This is a 140mm air cooler. And I've got some good benchmarks. And I've done a couple of... I've actually done one different benchmark for you. Right, so let's get into the benchmarks. I will make sure to put them up here. Now, I did do 3D Mark CPU test. Uh, the idle was 29 Celsius, max was 58 Celsius. The Cinebench R20 run was idle at 29, the max was th uh, 63. Cinebench R23, the idle was 36, the max was a 64 Celsius. Now, Ada 64, no AVX instructions enabled. The idle was 30, the max was 52 Celsius. Now, Ada 64 with AVX instructions on. The idle was 30, the max it went up to was a 72, but after 5 minutes it settled back down to max of 70, which I was very surprised. A lot of the air coolers I've done have gone over 70. So, I've also included Fermark. Now, this is the CPU benchmark part of it. So I did a Fermark test for 5 minutes, I did an idle, which was a 34 Celsius, max was 60. <laughs> Ridiculous. Um, now what we'll do is we'll uh, have a look at it, and if you, sh if you follow me on Insta, TikTok or Facebook, you've probably seen that this air cooler has been up there. Uh, this is a uh, big... 140 millimeter air cooler it is most it mostly it's wide very wide and at full blast it's loud which as you've probably seen from my other uh <laughs> my other reviews of the air coolers again from uh thermal right the noise is something they don't really care about but obviously you know, that's just one of them things. You give up uh, noise for good performance. And to be fair, this is one fantastic air cooler for its size. I know it's a 140, but I was outstanding. I mean, look at the review. Look at the benchmark results. I mean, it it, it, it hit 72 in 80-64, but that was the max it hit, and then it settled down to 70. I run that test for 10 minutes. It did not budge after it hit, settled down to 70. It's ridiculous. It was in my test bench. Uh, the test bench has got three uh, ARGB fans on the front, the top, and one at the back. They are all thermal, right? So I've got them all set up to the included fan hub in the Dark Base 700 so I can adjust the fans if I want to instead of going through software. Um, is it a good cooler? Yes. Uh, is it loud? Yes. Is it fantastic performance? Yes. Should you buy it? That I can't really say. That is up to you. If you want an air cooler that looks like this. I will say for an air cooler that's really wide, it does look really nice. Especially in your system. I remember to put up a photo here of it in the system with the RGB fans and stuff. It is really nice looking in the system. Uh, it's rather loud, but, you know, that's something you've got to really, you know, something you've got to really um, forget, really, when it comes to performance. Uh, I still think that Thermorite is trying to go after Noctua for styling, anyway, because a lot of their air coolers look a lot like Noctua's air coolers. So... I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And also, don't forget to check me out on TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. And this is Richard for Welsh Tech. I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.